retrospectives. In this tutorial, we will learn what a retrospective is and a details, uh, some details about the retro retrospectives in agile software development. So what is the significance of retrospectives? So retrospectives are the meetings to look back the work done in previous sprints. So whatever work has been done in previous iterations or sprints, retrospective is going, um, setting up the meetings and everyone in the team getting together to look back what was done in the previous sprint, what went well, what didn't went well, and what are the lessons learned. So that's the significance of the retrospectives. Now, what is done in retrospective meetings? Uh, it, you discuss so what went well, what didn't work very well, and what needs improvement. So these are the key things that are discussed in the retrospective meeting. And then anything that worked very well and thanks to the team members uh, who have worked in a collaborative manner to achieve the sprint goal. It covers the topics like processes, teamwork, tools, and many more. So there are a lot of topics that are covered in retrospectives. Uh, the key ones are the processes, tools, teamwork, etc. And there are follow-up activities defined in retrospective meeting to ensure that whatever action items have been defined in the retrospective meeting or agreed upon in retrospectives are being actioned and addressed in future iterations or future sprints so that's the significance of retrospectives it's these are the meetings to look back for the previous iteration uh, and how the previous iteration went um, next thing is timing and organization so what is the timing and organization of these retrospectives retrospectives are planned at regular interval so if after every sprint or iteration in um, agile development in Scrum, these retrospective meetings are um, planned. So after each sprint, there will be a retrospective meeting planned. These are organized and run by the facilitator. Whole team takes part in the meeting. So it's not that uh, it's, it's a meeting for some specific people within the team. It's the meeting for every, everyone working in Agile project um, towards a common goal. So the whole team takes part in this meeting and other team members may also be invited. So whosoever is working in the Agile development team is, uh, in, is part of these meetings and also if required any other business stakeholders if required are also invited in these meetings. Um, then what are the success factors for retrospectives? So retrospectives, uh, in retrospectives, you need to have a clear objective and right set of attendees invited. So the whole team should be there. And if required, the right set of people from business uh, or customer uh, should be invited to get the real benefit of retrospective. There should be mutual trust and respect within the team. So everyone in the team should respect each other and there should be trust within the team. There shouldn't be, shouldn't be any fear uh, within team member to come up with any idea or any feedback for the previous iteration or sprint. Issues and problems discussed in the retrospective should be welcome. So no one should be targeted and any issues and problems discussed within the retrospective should be welcomed and taken as a feedback and should be um, tried to improve in further iteration by taking them as an action item for the further uh, sprints or iterations. Uh, these meetings should not target any team member. So these meetings are to discuss what the whole team has been going through and uh, how everyone uh, or the team as a whole performed and these meetings should not be targeting to any specific person or set of persons or uh, a group within the team and there should always be follow-up activities these, these are must 
to ensure that if there is something that didn't work well and needs an improvement in further sprints or iterations that is addressed in term in uh, by having those follow-up activities in further sprints so these are some of the success factors for retrospectives so in short retrospectives are the meetings to look back how the sprint or iteration went and then um, what are um, and some of the um, key things uh, in retrospective are the timing how they need to be organized and uh, we have covered some of the success factors for the retrospectives thank you